Okay, here's uh, part three. Start this off. Uh, we got Urizen. Had several several different colors of um, his um, autograph and stuff. I only have the red one. I'm not too worried about getting them all. This is uh, Tiffany uh, Collectors Club. You know, obviously exclusive. This is another Collectors Club exclusive. Um, here, uh, she has got no um, pants on. So, well, I mean, I mean, she's got something on, but no pants. Uh, here's Spawn Classics. Now, this was the last one done um, by McFarlane. You know, so far they've talked about redoing it. Um, they've gone back to the uh, cardboard backing, and a little bit smaller. I mean, you know, you can you can obviously see. And uh, so Poacher. And then, which never was in any Spawn comic book. Um, and then, um, Wings of Redemption, uh, they redid him. His wings a little smaller. Uh, Pirate Spawn, pretty cool. And then, this is, uh, Cyber Spawn, or Manja Spawn, sorry. A re redone version of him. Alright, over to this side. Well, let's go here. Oh, let's take some of my figures, that's good. All right, now up here, uh, this is, uh, these are, uh, let's see which, this is Series 17. Now they did two different versions of these. Um, they've got, uh, like this is Medieval Spawn 2, this is the bloody version. And then over here, they kind of have, he's got more armor on him, uh, less blood. And uh, then here, this is the Malbosia. Uh, he's just a little bit tanner, I guess, if you look, kind of gray, tan, you know, gray, tan, gray. Okay, on these versions here, uh, he has a big mound of skulls and stuff that he's actually standing on. Get back a little bit, and then he's just got the normal, normal platform, so, and then, um, here we've got Tiffany 2. And she's just got various things uh, different with her um, tattoos on the leg. Uh, the weapons are pretty much the same, but different colors. And then here, she's got like a little hook weapon, a little uh, shield type of thing. And her hook weapon's up here. Um, so, I mean, just various little differences. And over here, Al Simmons, obviously... This one, he's uh, on top of a body that's been blown apart, and this one, normal, normal version. Um, okay, now we get over here to the clown, and this clown, he has his ma he has this face mask off, so you can kind of see his face in there. I hope, I hope I'm not doing that. Now this guy here, uh, face mask um, off. But the violator is coming out of his uh, belly. So you can kind of see, you know, it's ripping out of him. And this guy, he's got the face mask on. So you can kind of see that. And then there's another uh, version of the necroplasm. I got a couple of those laying around. And then um, this wall is a little bit bare. I'm messing with it right now. So, And then uh, this is Spawn 3. And he was a... Uh, uh, a collector's edition too. So, and you know, a little bit of artwork and stuff like that. Some original artwork. Uh, uh, Angel Medina did this, and uh, I cannot remember the name of the guy who did this for me. He, did, he was at the San Diego Comic Con. I just and I can't read the signature. So, go down here. These are uh, play sets that came out with the movie, um, the Final Battle play set, and. Um, Go on down here, and, and this is the Spawn Alley playset, and then uh, you see just the other little, uh, about three inch figures except for him, you know, he's a little bit bigger, but to kind of go with that. And then up here we've got the graveyard where Spawn can, you know, dig up his own body and there's something in there. It's pretty fun. And then down here, oh, get this guy out of the way. Sorry, my... Balrog keeps falling over here. Um, down here, this is the alley set again, but we have Todd the Bum, who appears in the movie for a couple, well, like 30 seconds or something like that. And so they decided to put him in there. So, 
And uh, here we got Samurai Wars. And this is uh, Jakku the Nightmare. I'm probably saying his name wrong, but that's okay. And uh, he's kind of, he's a little bit too heavy to hang up. And then here we've got Weapons of Mass Destruction. These are just three previously made spawns, but they put them all in one package. So, and then Mutant Spawn. Um, this guy came out a while ago. Uh, they have two versions of this. One with the large kind of tentacle things coming out. And then this guy here, who just has like a big jaw thing. So, gosh dang it. Malboja is a pain in the butt today. Or not Malboja, but Balrog. Um, okay, here. Uh, this is Future Spawn. We've got a couple different versions of him. These are all along the bottom. So, kind of, you can kind of see the red. And then he's got silver and kind of black. And then move over here. And he's just a little bit, uh, a little bit different too. So, they're all, all different. So, and then, uh, these are... This is a uh, Violator versus Commando Spawn. This was a Kmart. I think both of these were Kmart exclusives. I can't remember. But then this is Malboja versus Medieval Spawn. So I, th I think they were Kmart exclusives. It's been a while. All right, and this is uh, the uh, McFarland's uh, Christmas uh, things they did. You got your three elves. You got Jack Frost, who's you know, he's pretty cool. If you look, you know, there's the city. Sorry, this thing isn't focus. There's the city, you know, and there's Jack Frost. Uh, there's Frosty the Snowman, you know. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, there's Rudolph with his nose not so bright. And uh, there's Mrs. Claus dancing on a pole. And then there's Santa Claus. So when you take his face mask off, and he's got uh, a skull underneath it. So some more movie figures. Uh, you got Jessica Priest. Uh, you got Burnt Spawn here. Uh, Al Simmons. And then you have, um, let's see, they call him Spike Spawn. So, and there are a couple different versions of those. I have some of them packed away. Okay, so now you're going to move up to these guys. These are the very first series ever put out um, by uh, McFarland Toys. Back then it was actually called uh, Todd Toys. So, But uh, Kinner got upset because, of course, Barbie's cousin or whatever his name is is Todd, and they didn't want that being represented. Uh, that's the first one uh, that I got. These are the, you know, the first one. Uh, these are both um, uh, Diamond Exclusives. Uh, the 50th issue, these came out, so, uh, and I don't know how I got two, but I do. Um, okay, difference with this guy, uh, he's, this one's in blue. He's got a blue color to him, as you can see, you know, black. So, blue, necroplasm spawn, and then they call this guy hamburger head spawn. So, a couple different, a lot of different versions of him. If you're even, I can't. I'm tall, but I ain't that tall, so. And then we got Medieval Spawn. Uh, the very first trimmer. Uh, very first uh, Overt Kill. Uh, Overt Kill in gold. All these ones came in gold, but I don't, I don't have them all. Uh, the red Violator on the black card. Uh, fairly hard to find, but he's out there. And then the black Violator on the normal card. And then the normal gray on the normal card. And we got Clown with the Clown head out, and Clown with the Violator head out. And then Wanda and Cyan, and Jason Wynn. And then moving up here, um, I'm, I got the Jackal King. This is from uh, the Egyptian line. Soldier of Ra. The Warrior Isis. Uh, Crocodile King, and then Spawn the Immortal. So, alright, we're going to cut this off, and then I'll pick it up again.